But hey, it is what it is, man. So um, with that being said, I appreciate y'all for being open and honest. I appreciate y'all for, you know what I'm saying, in engaging. You know what I'm saying for those that which commented and didn't comment. God bless you, man. We appreciate the views. Please, if you have not yet subscribed, man, subscribe to Believe TV Productions at Believe TV on YouTube. Late Night Love Ties on IG. On uh, the Youth Believe Ministry that you're following us on right now, there's a lot of people that follow. There's a lot of people that watch these videos that don't end up liking the Youth Believe Ministry on Facebook. Man, mm -hmm. go on and like it, man, so we can grow that page up a little bit. So we're gonna go across the room with the last gems of the night, man. Everybody been dropping gems all night, so we're gonna hit them with the last ones, and we're gonna start it out with Sister Jeannie. Ended out with B-Town. Jeannie, what's the first, what's your gem for the people of the night? God bless you, Shishu. <laughs> Why you had to say no. that, man? What's my dad? <laughs> um, just keep uh, following your dreams. How about that? Follow your dreams. By any means. That's all I got. By any means, praise God, praise God. Sister Nana, we like to give last gems of the night, man, to a young woman or a young man or a grown person based on what we just talked about or anything that's been in your spirit that you would love to just share with the world. Feel free to drop a gem for the people. Um, don't compete with anyone. You, you should be your biggest competitor. The moment you start competing with that person and you've realized that now the level at that that person is right now and you've surpassed that level you stop you stop fighting for yourself because mm. now you're like okay well until they can tell bad guy when i'm again so now i, I could chill mm. but no so definitely don't compete with anyone that's that's what i leave Amen. praise god praise god praise god big dog enough man what you got for the people the claps today um I want to say to the people, stay busy, man. Stay busy at what you love doing. You know, busy in the sense of like, for example, if you like to cook, you know what I'm saying? Stay busy on that. You know, if you got to create a cookbook or go on live and show what you're doing, stay busy on that. Because I feel like a lot of times when we have free time, we end up doing things that we ain't supposed to be doing. And when we dedicate that energy, certain things that's not helping us grow you know stay busy you know mm -hmm. but to the don't don't be so busy that you don't get god his time you dig what i'm saying so like stay busy in what you're doing man you know continue to keep pushing and grinding um we want to make uh want to make sure that yo if you have something that you're doing like consistency comes with that too you know remain focused and consistent uh, consistency is not about so much of doing the same thing over and over. It's about making progress. You know what I'm saying? I could be in one position and move around. If I'm not going outside, getting in my car, and going different places, I'm not making no progress. I'm just sticking in one place. So stay busy, man. You know what I mean? That's my project. All right, all right, all right. Big Dog Cam, what you got for the people? Um, what's going on, y'all? Uh, it was a nice convo here today. Um, I hope y'all guys pull up next week. Um, uh, was November nineteenth, correct? November nineteenth. Yeah, on the Saturday, y'all pull up and um watch us live and um hope y'all come so y'all can engage with us. If you know, ask questions and stuff like that. My birthday is the next day. Woo! It's right after November twentieth. Birthday. So you coming? You gonna have a party there? You coming? Party where? <laughs> on the nineteenth. Yeah. yeah, but um, uh, I'll say like, do not hesitate in anything in life, and make sure you thank God as well, cause life comes fast. Get right with God, mm -hmm. cause you will never know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Type stuff. Praise you know God. What I mean? Flip it. Life is quick. It may seem like you've been here for a while, but, you know, life can go real, real, real fast. Yeah. That's my jump. For sure, for sure. Sister um, Nisha, what you got for the people? Uh, first, I want to um, say thank you for everyone who's watching. Make sure you come out November 19th, um, Saturday. What's the location? 
5050 10th Avenue, Green Eggers, Florida. I summed it at you. 7.30 p.m. Y'all heard him. Um, my gym is, it's okay for you to fall, but it's not okay for you to not get back up and stay there. That's my gym. Amen. 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 All hey, right, what's man. What's your gym, Pastor Gabe? Ah, my gym for the night is if you have suicidal thoughts, if you have any type of position that you feel like you are at lost of words or at lost of feelings, you don't know what the next step is, feel free to speak to somebody, you know? Don't ever go through these little mental battles, these individual battles. Don't think that you are truly an individual in these moments. Lean on your Christian faith. Lean on your Christian family. Lean on your church people. Reach out to the pastor. Reach out to the person that sits on that same bench with you. You know, have those conversations because sometimes people are more than willing to help, but a lot of us are egos and things like that. We never actually go out and seek it. And, um, you know, Christ told us that we have to seek in order to find. So just always be willing to have conversations and, you know, to alleviate, you know, that pressure that what you feel like you are up under. That's what I got for him. Oh, uh, Sister Nisha, you prayed for us to begin? Yes, yeah. sir. Oh, my bad, my bad. Brother Neff, say a prayer for us to end it out, man. What's up, boy? Uh, <laughs> Father God, we're coming for your throne. want to say thank you for your grace and mercy. Thank you for your love, joy, peace, and compassion. I pray, Father God, that everybody who's listening to us, Lord, that they learn something and apply it. And if we did say anything that was out of line, anything that was not according to your word, we ask you, Lord, that you correct us peacefully, Father God. I pray that, Father, that we expand and grow in spite of any challenges or tribulation that comes upon our way. And I just pray that, Lord, we hold on to you day by day. And because without you, Father God, we have no strength. Our joy comes for you, Father God. So that means joy comes with strength. If we don't have that joy, we can't fight. We can't move, Father. And I just pray that everybody in here, you know, stop seeking happiness, but seek joy. Because joy is forever. So I pray, Lord, that we continue to stay focused continue to stay hungry father god to serve you and not just behind these microphones but just serving people in general lord to just let people know who you are in this kingdom your ultimate kingdom i pray for traveling mercies i ask you god to continue to walk with us and bless us lord and i also pray that father god that we grow day by day and not to stay in one position Uh, we pray for haiti lord jesus i ask you father god that you put your sovereign hand upon haiti right now as you can see what they're going through not just Haiti, any nation that's going through tribulations and just, you know, a lot of hardships, Lord, that you do a miraculous work to that nation, Father God, because they need you, Lord. We honor you. We thank you. You are the Alpha, the Omega, the Messiah. There's none like you. In Christ's name we pray. Let everybody say amen. 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 amen.